Yo, welcome back everyone. This is JP here with PSG bringing you some more of our Titans franchise on Madden 23 on the PS5. So we are 6-1 and one, taking on the 5-2 and two Kansas City Chiefs. This game could have a lot to do with, um, you know, playoffs uh, at the end of the season. Because our division, we're not too far ahead. Is uh, Luckily the Jags have played one game more than us, so they still have a bye week. So we're technically uh, ahead of them by two games. Colts also still have a bye to come up, and we're hitting them by three. The Texans dead last. They're not going anywhere. But we're going to go jump in this game here. As uh, Our offense is ranked number 31. There's number nine. Defense is ranked number one. Their defense is ranked number 10. So this is going to be a tough game. Oh, I, have, I, have, I have had to play it multiple times, not going to lie. Um, kid woke up once, tried to do it on uh, during the work day one day, but I was too tired, ended up quitting it. Um, had the practice squad. Have you seen the practice squad glitch where you come out there and your quarterbacks and the only one in like a red jersey or whatever? And oh my gosh, it's ridiculous the amount of crap you have to go through in this game right now. Uh, hopefully, they fix most of this. I think the most broken thing about this game is I really love the animations in the game. They've done a lot better job. There's still a lot to be fixed, of course, but the broken tackles is ridiculous. There's not that many broken tackles in the NFL. I don't care what you say. Certain players, yes, but here's my biggest gripe with it is I don't get those broken tackles as much as the uh, the CPU does, especially with Derrick Henry. His stiff arm, he should be putting people on the ground, and my problem is is Derrick Henry's stiff arm and, like, holding the, holding them to him. Like, he's talking to him, like, hey, man, take me down to the ground. I can't take it no more. And it, it just absolutely drives me nuts. But the new look, Chiefs, as uh, Clyde edwards Lair hopefully has a full season this year. Um, honestly, a very stacked team for not having uh, who they uh, – Tyree Kill, uh, Marquez Valdez-Scantley, and Juju Smith-Schuster. Get him to – see – you're going to tell me that Clyde edwards Hilaire is going to break that tackle on Dupree or Simmons or any of those guys? No, thank you. Don't don't kid me. A second tail on the 22-yard line here. Can we get some pressure? And there is an interception by Christian Fulton. Huge, huge play. We needed that to start this game. Oh my gosh, about time. And uh, I will tell you all that my biggest deficit I've had in the game was 17-14. And that was like second quarter. They were winning obviously by the field goal, but I was getting the ball because they just scored a touchdown. All the other games were either 0 0 when they ended. I think the best one was 21 21, and that was the first game I played. We was coming out of halftime, tied up. We was getting the ball, and uh, my kid, he was just, he was having some difficulty sleeping that night. By the time we got, me, by the time me and my wife had him laid down, um, I just went to bed. Yeah, I recently tried playing it, got the practice squad thing, and I didn't realize it until, like, the end of the first. I was like, what is going on? First and 10 on the 32. That's a nice pass to Austin Hooper for eight yards there. Make it second and two. Second two on the 24-yard line. High formation, handoff Henry. You see these stiff arm animations Henry gets? Like, that That one's not too bad because it's similar to the one he had last year. But he doesn't ever really push anyone down unless he's in the zone. 31. There we go. But see, like, he he barely hits him off of him. The guy still ends up making the tackle. How often do you see Henry stiff arm a guy and let him still tackle him? Like, never. Never. First and 10 on the 14-yard line, single back formation, handoff is to Henry, and he will fall forward for about a gain of five, as we like to see that. Second and five on the nine, and that is a touchdown to Traylon Burks. You love to see it. The rookie getting involved early in this game, getting the Titans a lead, and that puts... Ron Tannehill now at 12 touchdowns and 13 interceptions. And if you remember the start of the, uh, the like first few weeks of the season, he was like somewhere between four and six touchdowns, like 11 interceptions. So definitely getting up there in the touchdowns, the interception ratio back in order. And we, we really, really, really need that because 
we, we've gotten lucky on some of these wins. If it wasn't for our defense, it wasn't for Derrick Henry, there's plenty of games where we we could we should have lost like two or three interception games, and the other team wasn't throwing us in any turnovers. And you know you just can't have that. It doesn't always work out in the NFL. Usually, whoever wins a turnover battle and or wins special teams is going to win the game. And uh, we were definitely lacking in both. Uh, I think we do have one kick kickoff return for touchdown. I think I had one in one of the games I played against them, the Chiefs here, before I had to quit. Nice tackle, Cunningham. You love to see it. He gets him, and let's only get about a gain of two there. Second and eight on the 29 yard line. Definitely would like to get off this, give the offense back the ball. And there's another nice tackle. Was that David Long that time? No, it was uh, Theo Jackson coming in from the safety spot there. Third and four on the 33 yard line. Need to get off this field there. Five wide. And Caleb Farley now with an interception. You would love to see this defense finally stepping up here as uh, he was covered on the running back. Kind of weird. I would have loved anyone else to be covered there and had him on someone better. But either way, I will take it. First and 10 on the 36 yard line. Henry in the backfield here. But it is not going to be a pass to Henry as uh, that would be a knockdown there. The target was Robert Woods. Second and 10. Henry to the right. And Derrick Henry, he might have got a first down. Third in inches. You know they're going to want to hand this ball off to Henry here. Let the man get the first. Third in inches on the 26. It is going to be a handoff to Henry. Pretty good hole there for about a gain of six, I'd say. Making it uh, first time 19. He isn't. We are in the red zone now. As the Titans are coming out five wide. Tannehill snaps the ball. Ooh, nearly interception. He had wide open Robert Woods, but just could not make that play as uh, the safety or the corner came over from the side to get that. Swat that ball down. And that, ooh, another knockdown there. Luckily, that one wasn't pick six. Third and 10 on the 19. Third and 10 on the 19 here. We need a big play from this team. Uh, for some reason, Swain is in this game a lot. We should have Chig in here. And Swain will, uh, he'll get about a gain of four. What will the Titans do here, though? I, I, I would think they'd send Randy Bullock out. And they will to kick the extra point and just make this a 10 point game. It's not often you get a 10 point game against these Chiefs, and you got to be careful with the 10 point lead because these Chiefs can come back at any moment. They are known for these comeback games, of course. Still a minute and a half, right about in the first quarter, and the Titans are up 10 to nothing. You love to see that from a team like this that has struggled. Uh, getting early leads like this and um especially from a team look at that oh of two for two interceptions and we are playing on uh all madden and just nothing going their way right now as they run the ball with Clyde Edwards Hilaire his name is a tongue twister, uh, and he just gets a gain of one. Four rushes, nine yards for him, and they will hand the ball off to him again, and Harold Landry coming over there. Another one-yard run, five for eight. Third and eight on the 22-yard line. Titans staying in man coverage this whole time, and it is working out for them. And that is a bad ball by Mahomes. His first completion and it goes for nothing and they will have to punt this ball. And that will be the end of the first as it is 10 nothing. Tennessee Titans has uh it's just not going uh cheaps away at the moment, but you never know when things can turn around. And they will send out uh Townsend to punt this ball off. 
from his own 22. Pretty decent punt. Phillips will not fair catch it as he will only take it up to the 36. Here comes Tannehill in the offense as they're hoping to go down and get some more points on the board. They'd like to have a touchdown after last time only kicking the field goal. But they will take any points, I'm sure, at this point. So it is first and 10 and 36. There's a play action play here. And Tannehill is sacked by Jason Pierre Paul as he comes in for a 10 yard loss. Titans need to get some of that yardage back. And uh, that, that's not going to go anywhere. Just Tannehill's under pressure. Now Titans coming in five wide here. Don't know how good this is going to do him. It's third and 20. But they are going to try. And that is an overthrown ball that Robert Woods didn't even try for, really. And uh, the Jarius Sneed gets the interception off the off the bad throw by Ryan Tannehill. And that sets up Mahomes at the 34-yard line on a first and 10. This defense looking to hopefully... Nearly an interception by Christian Fulton. Would have been his second of the game. But uh, he can't bring it down. His second time 34. Mahomes just not able to get nothing going here. And there's another one yard rush for Hilaire. Third and nine on the 34. And uh, that would be bring up fourth down, and they are going to go for this. Curious to see what the Titans decide to do here on fourth and three. And that is a nice catch there in double coverage. Who caught that ball? Is that Juju, or is that Marquez Valdez-Scantling? Either way, what a throw by Mahomes and a better catch by... It is, it is scowling. And there is the, uh, the man himself catching one, Travis Kelsey. Let's bring up second and four. Oh, nearly an interception by Theo Jackson. Would have been like his third of the year. Is he, he balled out early for us whenever, uh, Whenever uh, Monty Hooker got hurt, but Hooker has been playing a lot of sub linebacker and wide open Kelsey, and Monty Hooker is hurt. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. As he is, uh, he's been a lights out player for us playing sub linebacker. The Titans seen what uh, they had in Theo Jackson. Want to give him some more reps at the safety position, but it is now a ten to seven game. Is uh, like we said. You gotta be careful with these Chiefs, they can always come back. Both quarterbacks throwing interceptions now in this game. Of course, Mahomes has the two extra, almost threw a third one there. And that is a good return there by Trenton Cannon. I'm sorry, Dontrell Hilliard. Okay, Monty Hooker is just a Bruce Shutter Hill return, so nothing too serious there. Coming out here with Henry to the right. First and tell the third two. And that is a good run by Henry on the game of six. As I'm going to guess the Titans are wanting to play a little bit smarter here after the interception. Second and four and 39. It is a pitch to Henry. We've not seen a pitch all season from this team. And it's not a very good pitch. It's only a game of one. That is a bad throw by Ryan Tannehill as he has not had a very good game. Four of ten. And they will punt this ball. Which does not surprise me to say the least, but Oh, it's a fake. And 
and Brett Kern just could not get the ball off in time before the pressure got there, and that gives the Chiefs excellent position with two minutes 48 seconds to go to tie this game up, if not take the lead. And as the best run we've seen from Hilaire is that's a five yard run. Second and six, another run here. And Hooker already back in the game. And that is a, uh, we, you hate to see anyone get injured, but at the same time, the Titans are probably really happy that, that guy got injured when he did because now it's third and five with two, over two minutes to go. And there is a sack and Danico Autry gets hurt on the play, stopping the clock once again. Just a little over two minutes ago, Chiefs going for the field goal to tie the game. And he misses it. It is still a 10-7 to game. Who is their kicker? Is it, isn't it Harrison Bucker? Am I wrong on that? I'm pretty sure I have him on my fantasy team. All right, first and 10 on the 47. Hand off Henry, and he just can't get nothing going there as JPP brings him down for, for a loss of one. And that will be the two-minute warning. 10-7 to seven Titans trying to make it 17-7. Second and 11 on the 45-yard line. Wide open Austin Hooper. He will get the first down and get out of bounds. Finally, the Titans have something go their way. It has been a minute since they had anything good happen. First on the 41-yard line. Nice catch by Robert Woods. Up the middle, breaks the tackle. Trying to juke somebody. Gets all the way down to the 14-yard line. You got to think now they're going to just try to run some clock out here. And uh, hopefully take this to the... To halftime, but no, they're coming out in five wide now. First and 10 on the 14. And another catch by Robert Woods up to the five yard line. And now they are chewing some clock here. Second and two on the five. Handoff is to Haskins, and he just can't get nothing going there. That will bring up third and three. Oops. Third and three on the 34 yard line. Haskins in at the running back position. And it is a screen play, and he just can't get it going there. It brings up fourth and two. He had blockers, but guy just slipped by his blocker and was able to get him right there for a tackle. And what will the Titans do here is the real question. As it looks like they're going to come out here and go for it on fourth and two on the six yard line. A risky play, but kind of smart at the same time as, as they will not get it as the fullback does not go up to block his guy. And uh, these Chiefs will get the ball back 25 seconds. I don't know why it's in that. 25 seconds and. Uh, On the five yard line. And Cunningham gets him for a tackle in the backfield for a loss of one. And that will end the first half. Oh, it has been quite the game. 10 7 Titans. Uh, so they're barely hanging on to a lead. It should have been 10-10, but Harrison Bucker missed uh, three points. Looking around the league now. We have Philly in Houston as uh, it's all Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, 257 yards, two touchdowns. Devontae Smith, 137 of those yards and a touchdown. Miles Sanders, 61 yards, a touchdown. Davis Mills, a two touchdown pass, almost 300 yards. Not too bad. The Chargers at the Falcons. Interesting game as the Falcons pull off the win. 6-3 on the season. 331 yards, two touchdowns from Mariota. 64 yards, a touchdown from 
Patterson and Calvin Ridley suspended in real life, 90 yards and two touchdowns, as well as Justin Herbert, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Looking ahead to tomorrow night's game, Ravens at Saints. That should be a good one, as we would expect Baltimore to pull out the W there. Getting back to our game now, the top frequency is the short throw. It's 40% of the time, completion 70%, for only 28 yards, though. And looking at the Chiefs, is uh, inside rush 42.8 for only 13 rushing yards, averaging 1.4 yards per carry. So, uh, not what you expect. So the Titans will get the ball to start this second half, and they are hoping that they can finally get something going here as they had in the first quarter and a good run by Hilliard as he gets up to the 33 yard line and there's a man down for the Chiefs he's going to the sideline to get some help out there hopefully he's okay still laying down the field and he will go to the locker room Anderson I'm not sure who that is but uh, you hate to see anyone get injured in a game like this tough game neither team has 100 yards on the game yet Coming out here, Haskins in the game right now. It is a run, and Haskins only with a gain of one. Second and nine on the 34 yard line. Henry back in now, running back. So he will get a run to the right as a big run. He will truck a defender, and he will get up to the 46 yard line. Another good run by Henry, getting things going here. As he puts the Titans finally over the 100 total yard mark. He tried to get past another guy, but came up behind him and got him from behind. First and 10 on the 46 yard line here. Hand off to Henry again. He's going to run up the middle. Nice little cut back for a gain of three there. 10 rushes, 51 yards, averaging 5.1 yards per carry. Not too bad, not too great. Cutting out five wide here, second and seven on the 43 yard line. And how was that intercepted? How was that intercepted? I need a replay of that because Phillips was 100% in front of that ball. I thought I caught it was going upfield. How did it go right through his hands? How did it go right through his hands? That is amazing. That might be the worst animation I've seen in the game so far. First and 10 on the 43 yard line. Iron Tails, second interception, I believe now. And that will be a loss of two as Clyde Edwards Hilaire is not having a good night running the ball. I don't know why they keep going to him. Guess they're helping him eventually break one. Second and 12 on the 40. And, uh,. Finally get something good there, but of course it's off a of screen play. Third and seven on the 46. Titans are looking for another stop here as they don't wanna don't wanna ruin what they've had going. And that'll be out of bounds and they will have to punt the ball. Five of ten for 32 yards and two interceptions. Well, of course one touchdown. But still just not either of these quarterbacks tonight. So they've both done two interceptions. Now we'll go out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Bad punt. Luckily, the Titans get the ball back here. And they, I, I, I would say you have to start handing the ball off to Henry more. I mean, the passing game, this, this defense is just ferocious right now. First and 10, 25. Tight end in motion. It is a handoff to Henry as he will get about four, three, four yards there. Again, second and seven, so it was a three yard run. Coming out, I formation, second and seven, handoff Henry to the right, or I'm sorry, to the left, and he will get about a gain of three or four there. Third and five on 31, five wide here. There's a catch by Burks, who's got some room. He's still going. 
And he's breaking tackles like crazy. The best tackles I've seen him break all year so far. And he gets all the way up to the 32-yard line. If you're the Titans now, you have to play the smart and hand this ball off. And just try to get as close to this end zone as you can. That is a decent juke by Henry, but only a gain of four there. Nonetheless, finally, decent run once again. Second and six on the 28. Hand off Henry, left side again. Finally got a good hole, and he will get up to about the 14-yard line. So that will make it first and 10. They are in the red zone now. Henry trying to do something with his legs as it has not been going good through the air. First and 10 on the 14 yard line. Henry in the backfield still is a handoff to the left. As he gets about nine yards there up to the five. 83 yards on the game. He's getting close to that 100 yard mark. You know he wants to hit it. Second and one the five. And off to the right side this time as Henry will walk right on into the end zone and with the extra point can make this a 10 point game finally the first points since I think the first quarter yeah maybe 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 the beginning of the second something like that and either way finally the Titans get something going their way seven plays 75 yards six rushes for from Henry for 35 yards Traylon Burke's catch was probably the highlight of that drive. Nonetheless, though, it's Henry that gets him in the end zone as they need him to help them get in the end zone more. What a hit. I thought he was going to lose that ball at first. And Mahomes coming back out now. Head down a little bit. Need to start talking to these guys up, telling them, hey, this is our game. We got this. As they've been down 10 points plenty of times and came back. And Clyde Tiller finally gets like a 12 yard rush. Surprise, they are running this ball here. First and 10. They are trying to get this ball in. Clyde Edwards' hands so much it is, it's crazy. Second and two. Will they snap this ball? No, they will not. That will be the end of the third. 17 7 Titans. Is, uh, it's not been pretty for either team. Nonetheless, the Titans are winning this game. And you know they hope to keep it that way. Second and two on the 48 yard line. Empty backfield. And Byard with a nice tackle there to bring down Scantling. First and two on the 46 yard line. Mahomes, empty backfield. And that is another pass to Hilaire as he gets another first down. They're finally getting something going here on the ground. First and 10 on the 32 yard line. Hilaire to his left. And Hilaire getting a nice run there of about seven. Looks like uh, whatever coach told him is paying off. Second and three on the 25. Another, oh. And that is not gonna get the first down as Mahomes tried to keep it himself. And he's only able to get about two yards there off that run. Looks like they will be trying to run the ball here. And Cunningham able to meet him, but Larry gets the first down is Hilaire finally averaging two yards a carry. Which is not good, but it's better than what he was averaging. First and 10 on the 21, man in motion. And that will only be a gain of one there. I think it was Juju Smith-Schuster. 
They've only had 54 passing yards all game, which they throw it downfield, it's been getting picked off. Second and down the 19. And that is a sack by Jeffrey Simmons there. Finally getting some pressure on the homes. So we'll bring up third and 15. You know, they hope to just keep bringing pressure on him. And now Landry with the sack, bringing it up fourth and 24. Very sad that man is out for the year in real life, torn ACL in practice. Oh, man. I think the Titans still be fine as Rashad Weaver, he showed a lot preseason in the last couple years. Last year he got hurt. Uh, Adani will be another good one to fill in his spot as he had a couple of sacks in the season but played very limited snaps. And uh, we brought in a guy from Pittsburgh, so they had uh, his best playing was last year so it looks like maybe he's coming into his own and Hilliard with a nice run up to the 28 yard line two minutes 44 seconds to go Titans looking to just hang on to this win here get out of here with the W seven point lead and it's been a close one but nonetheless it is Titans so far 17-10 this is his first time 28 Hand off is to Henry. He has some nice running room, and he will get about 10 yards there. He is now two yards away from 100 yards on the game, and Derrick Henry is now in the zone. So you know these defenders got to watch out. First and 10 on the 38. They did snap this ball with plenty of time. Now bring it second and one, and that should bring us to the two-minute warning. Two minute warning, 17-10. It is second and one on the 47 yard line. Single back is Henry. Tail snaps the ball, hand off Henry. He gets a nice run there up to the 48 and the Chiefs will call their first time out. But that does bring up first, first down, so. Question is, what will the Titans do on third down if it comes to that? First and 10 on the 48. Hand off once again, Henry. Big run to the left here. And he can't stay in bounds. Oof, that is bad management by Henry there. Nonetheless, still in great position here. As they are in enemy territory, almost in the red zone here. First and 10 on the 28. Hand off Henry to the right. He's got blockers. And that should be another first down and another Kansas City timeout. First and 10 on the 18. A minute 43 to go. Kansas City only has one more timeout. It is a handoff to the left. And somehow that man tackles him from behind. But that will bring up second and eight. Second and eight from the 16 yard line. The Chiefs have no more timeouts left now. And that will ice the game as that is first and goal on the three. You have to think if you're the Titans here, you want to run this clock down as much as possible here and still try to get in this end zone. As Henry will walk right on in after stiff arming a man out of the way. And that should give him enough of a lead here that anything the Chiefs do will not matter. As, it, as this will be a 14 point game. Finally, some action in this second half as it was only 10 to 7 at halftime. I mean, it could have been 13, 16, 7. It could have been 13, 16 to 10 even. As uh, neither team. Stupid mistakes by both sides. Missed field goal by the Chiefs. Made this game a lot closer than what it could have been. 
trying to hype this guys up. He's hey, look, hey, it's only 14 points. 54 seconds, no timeouts. We can do it. First and 10 here. And Landry nearly getting another sack there. Second and 10. That is a wide open Travis Kelsey. But they're going to have to hurry up here as that's going to waste a lot of time. First and 10 on the 47. Might have a wide open man here, and it is Clyde Edwards Hilaire of the backfield, but Lonnie Johnson Jr. tackles him inbounds. Second and one, only 10 seconds left in the game. And Caleb Farley getting another interception. I think he had an interception this game, but either way, that will be a pick six, and that should put this game away as there's only three seconds left in the game. That could help him get a breakout game for this one. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. Nick Bolton is mad in that sideline right now. But you know Coach is happy over there. It's both teams have thrown interceptions in this game. Only difference is Mahomes threw one more than Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill threw two. Mahomes threw three. You know, the defense congratulating their guy. Hey, man. That's what I'm talking about. You'd have to think that the Titans will most likely just squib kick this and just try to run this clock out here on the kickoff and not give this uh, team a chance to... Uh... And yeah, they will, and that will run out the clock as the final score will be 31-10 to Titans. Surprising victory here for the Titans is... Um, I thought it'd be a lot closer than this. But nonetheless, it is a win, and they move on to 7-1. and one. Looking like the number one seed in back-to-back -back years now. Mike Brable looking like he could be one of the better head coaches. Only 109 passing yards, 159 rushing yards, though. Two interceptions from one, three interceptions for the other. Mahomes pressured just a little bit more. This Titans uh, offensive line coming into their own here lately. Only 91 passing yards from Mahomes. As that should do it for this week we won the turnover battle allowed less than 20 points 250 did not get two passing touchdowns though unfortunately and we'll let that guy auto upgrade do we have anything special this week i don't think so um yeah that will do it for this video guys if you don't mind if you enjoyed this video please smash a like if you really like helps if you're new to the channel and you want to see more about me, hit subscribe and turn that bell icon so you step today on every video upload. Till next time, guys, this is JP with PSG saying peace out and have a wonderful day.